Your iron will look like new. The scale and residue will be gone and you'll never see yellow stains while ironing again. Here's a perfect solution for you. These stains come from scale buildup in the iron. No need to throw away your iron. Mix two teaspoons of baking soda in a bowl, then pour it into the water hole of the iron. Cut a lemon in half and squeeze all the juice into the iron. You'll see some fizz. Wipe the iron with a paper towel. Next, pour a bit of vinegar into the iron. The vinegar and lemon will dissolve and remove the scale. This mixture will flow out of the iron, which is good as it cleans all the steam channels. Fill the iron with water, let it sit for a while, then pour out the contents. Rinse thoroughly and wipe the bottom of the iron. Test the first ironing on a towel as some scale might still come out. Look how well it irons white fabrics now. No more yellow stains. Aspirin makes your iron look brand new, shiny, and sparkling. But it wasn't always like that. A burnt iron is a nightmare. But I have a genius solution. Take two aspirin tablets and dissolve them in a bowl of water. Stir until the aspirin completely dissolves. Now, take a microfiber cloth and soak it in the solution. When the iron is still warm, but not hot, scrub the entire bottom of the iron with the dissolved aspirin, paying special attention to the most burnt spots. See how dirty the cloth gets? That's proof that aspirin works wonders. After a few scrubs, your iron will start to shine like new. Then, take a clear lip balm and gently rub it on the iron surface. Use a piece of paper towel to polish the iron until it's dry. This simple trick can save your iron, and you won't have to buy a new one, saving you a lot of money. A scorched iron is a nightmare, but I have a brilliant solution. Your iron will look like new. It will remove lime scale, residue, and even significant scorch marks. First, take a bowl and add one tablespoon of toothpaste. Toothpaste is an excellent polishing agent for many appliances. Next, add two tablespoons of baking soda. Pour a shot of vinegar into the bowl. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly until you get a thick paste. Now, turn on the iron and wait until it gets hot. Once it's heated, take a regular small sponge and dip it into the mixture. Use the rough side of the sponge to clean the iron. After a few strokes, the iron will start to shine like new. Look how well it presses fabrics now. Your iron will glide smoothly over clothes, making ironing faster and easier. This simple trick can save your iron, extend its lifespan, and keep it in perfect working condition. You won't need to buy a new one, so you'll save a lot of money. Lay it on the carpet and iron it. Mysterious stains of unknown origin will disappear. Cream-colored carpets with light patterns get dirty very easily. Stains appear on them from who knows where. I was already frustrated with these stubborn stains until I discovered this clever little trick that worked like magic. Mix one part vinegar with two parts warm water. After thoroughly mixing the solution, soak a cloth in it. Then place the wet cloth on the stain on the carpet. Turn on the iron and run it over the cloth for a few seconds. The iron shouldn't be too hot so as not to melt the carpet fibers. The vinegar solution dissolves the stain and the heat from the iron helps lift the stain from the carpet fibers. This method turned out to be surprisingly effective on stains that I didn't know where they came from, and much easier than other techniques I tried. The stains that plagued my carpet disappeared. The carpet is finally clean. If you're dealing with mysterious stains and nothing seems to work, I highly recommend trying this simple and effective method. It's a great solution using things you probably already have at home. Here's the secret to a clean mattress. Stains and dirt disappear immediately, and dust mites, mold, and fungi are eliminated. Mattress companies don't want you to know about this. With this simple trick, your mattress will last for years. You'll need a large bowl. Add two tablespoons of baking soda to it. Baking soda will be responsible for eliminating germs and bacteria. Next, add one tablespoon of toothpaste, preferably white. Grab some fabric softener and add two tablespoons to the bowl. Mix everything well. Finally, add water and mix it again. Dip a clean towel or cloth into the mixture. 
Wring out any excess liquid so the towel is damp, but not soaked. Lay the towel on the mattress. Place an iron, wrapped in the towel, on top of the mixture. Iron the mattress with the towel-covered iron. There's no need to dry the mattress in the sun. Ironing the mixture will dry it instantly. Now your mattress is clean, dry, fresh, and free from bacteria. Pour it onto the toaster. It will be clean without scrubbing and scraping. Here's a quick trick for cleaning a burnt toaster. With frequent use, burnt food residues and grease accumulate on its surface. Mechanical cleaning using a sponge can damage its surface. Instead of scrubbing, try this clever trick. In a container, pour four tablespoons of potato flour. Then add a tablespoon of baking soda. Soda is an eco-friendly alternative to cleaning chemicals. It has properties for removing stains, unpleasant odors, and disinfection. Pour 50 milliliters of water into the mixture. Mix it all together. Pour the mixture onto the heated toaster, covering the entire surface. Then, close it and leave it for a few minutes. When the mixture heats up, it will form a white paste. Remove it with a fork. All the dirt, grease, and residue will stick to it. Like a magnet, it will pull all the gunk out of the toaster. Simply roll it up and, once cooled, throw it away. The toaster will look like new. Its surface will be free of scratches. This recipe is natural and safe for health. There's no need for chemical cleaning agents for burnt residue. Your sandwich maker will be clean in seconds, without the tedious scrubbing of burnt residue. If you're wondering how to clean your sandwich maker quickly and effectively, this method is for you. Any sandwich lover uses their sandwich maker frequently, but cleaning it isn't as enjoyable. If the sandwich maker is used often, it becomes increasingly difficult to clean. Some people even stop using it because they don't know how to clean it properly. But the solution is very simple. Next time your sandwich maker gets dirty, use the paper towel trick. Every sandwich maker manual should mention this cleaning method. And it's not just about wiping the surface with a paper towel. You need to use it in a rather unusual way. Tear off a few pieces of paper towel. Prepare a bowl of water. Dip the paper towel pieces into the water. Squeeze out the excess water. Now spread these pieces of paper towel on the sandwich maker. They can overlap. Close the sandwich maker and turn it on for a few minutes. The high temperature and steam from the water will loosen the burnt residue. The paper towels will absorb all the dirt. Use kitchen tongs to remove them. Gently wipe the surface of the sandwich maker with the damp paper towels, and you're done.